Today I'll be showing you how to create a customized message in Microsoft Excel and send it directly to WhatsApp. In my example here, I have a list of employees and various tasks that they need to finish. And as you can see, I have the employee phone number as well as the due date of the task. I want to combine this information to create a hyperlink that allows me to send a message to each employee. Now that message needs to be customized. It needs to include their name, the task, the due date, and the priority as well. So firstly, let me show you how we can create a customized message. And after that, I'll show you how we can hyperlink it to WhatsApp. So here in column G, what I've done is I've created a personalized, customized message for each employee. And let me show you the syntax I've used. So starting with double quotes, I've written hello, followed by a space, and then I end the double quotes. And then I use the and function to append it to A2. Cell A2 is the employee name. So right over here is John Doe. And after that, I use the and function once again, followed by the double quotes. And then I have a space, comma, space, please. And then after that, once again, double quotes and the and function. Now, the and function is linking to cell C2, which is complete the financial report, followed by another and function, and then space by space. Okay, so it's very important that you follow this syntax. And then after that, D2, so the date by which they need to complete it. And then after that, using the AND function and more double quotes, I've written down, this is a high priority task, and I've linked it to cell F2. So this is going to be highly subjective based on your message, but I suggest you closely look at the syntax I've used. I've used a variation of the AND function and the double quotes. So make sure you're respecting those as you craft a message. Now I'm gonna press enter and let's see how our customized message uh, comes out. So as you can see over here, we have the message and there are some mistakes in it. It says, hello John Doe, please complete the financial report by number. This is a high priority task. So there are two things that we need to fix here. Number one, which is the obvious one, is that the date is coming up as a number because in Excel, this is in date format. And number two is that we have some capitalization issues. So as you can see, this should be lowercase and this H should be lowercase as well. So let's go back into our formula and let's fix that. So what I'll do is cell C2 over here is linking me to my task. And I wanna make sure this is in lowercase. So I'm simply gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the lower function and then I'll just wrap this cell C2 around that function. And I'll do the same thing for the priority. High priority, I want it to be lowercase, which is cell F2. So I'll just go into lower and I'll wrap that around cell F2 as well. Now, as for the date, date is the purple one over here. So cell D2, um, what I'll do to this is I will write down the text function, open bracket. Now this function takes in two values. Number one is the value, which is this one over here, followed by the format. So in our case, our format in double quotes is going to be MMMM -M 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 space DD comma space YYYY. And this is going to insert our date as a month, date, year format. And then I'll go ahead and I'll insert the bracket once again. And as you can see, now we're getting the proper message. Hello, John, please complete financial report by January 10, 2025. This is a high priority task. So as you can see, the high priority is coming from cell F, uh, column F. The date is coming from column D and the name is coming from column A. So we've combined those three columns to create this personalized message. I can simply drag this down and we get a personal message for each person. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna label this as message. Now I wanna create the hyperlink that takes us to Excel, okay? So let's go ahead and let's do that. 
So in column H over here, I'm going to write down the link. And this is the button from which people can send the messages to the employees. So I'll write down equals to hyperlink. And I will open the bracket and it's asking me for the link location. So we need to actually create a link location. So in double quotes, I'm going to start off with pasting the following text. Okay, and I'll leave this in the description down below. So you can simply copy and paste this as well. And after this, I'm going to write down send question mark phone equals to and then I'm going to close the double quotes. And I'm going to insert the and function because I want to append something here. And that's going to be the phone number. So in my case, for the first employee, this is the phone number. So I'll go ahead and I'll add that. Okay, then I'll insert the and function once again. And in double quotes, I'll write down and text equals to and then I'll close the double quotes once again. And then I'll introduce the and function once again here. And I'll write down the text, which is cell G2 in this case. And then I'll write down comma. And after that, the friendly name. So what name should this cell over here have for us to click on? Well, this cell can simply have a name that says send message. Okay. And if you want to really customize it, what we can do is we can write down send message to double quotes and and we'll write down this person's name over here as well just to make things even more customized and we'll go ahead and we will close the bracket and press enter and I will just add a space after send message to as well and there we go so send a message to John Doe and I can go ahead and I can drag this down for all of them okay and as you can see now we have hyperlinks and these links are also customized to each employee okay and we've created messages for each as well so now whenever I click on any of these it's simply gonna take me to whatsapp whatsapp web and from whatsapp web I can simply go ahead and send that message over and this message is already going to be ready uh, in the chat box so all I need to do is send the message so that's how you can create customized messages and send them directly from Excel to WhatsApp. I hope you found this video valuable and thank you so much for watching.